Yeah, I grew up in Dunedin, which is on the south southern coast of New Zealand, so there's kind of southern seas down there. When I finished school, I kicked around university for a year but wasn't really sticking to anything and then I got asked to join a string band with a, some amazing songwriters in it and they asked me to join and kick around with them full time and so I did that for the next uh, four years and at that point I was getting pretty interested in American music and so I wanted to go to the places that this music kind of came from and see have a sort of genuine understanding of how that music came to be. And so I guess the traveling itch got me again because I ended up back in the US learning how to make cowboy boots and now I'm living here in Guthrie. My boot making journey in Guthrie started at Lisa Sorrell's shop and she gave me the opportunity to work in her shop by myself with her at my beck and call, <laughs> helping me out and I knew a little bit about how to make shoes and things but definitely not cowboy boots. I had to go back to New Zealand for a little while and when I came back I started volunteering for Ray and helping him out in his shop and that's gradually moved up to me working for him and taking orders for my own customers in there and uh, developing, developing my style and skills under him, which is just incredible. He has such a, such a wealth of knowledge and I'm just very grateful to be able to uh, absorb some of it. You know, it's not written down or anything. It's just going from, it's an, it's an, an oral tradition and a, um, and a hands-on one, so it's pretty special. Okay, shake covers out of, shake, oh yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> what are you calling this? This is the cover, this is the filler. There is a great deal of satisfaction that comes from this craft. It's, it's almost hard to kind of fathom when the boot is finished that you've created that out of nothing, you know? So there is a sense of satisfaction creating something from nothing, but also in the relationship that you've created with the customer in creating a vision that they had alongside your artistic ability and merging all of these things to make a, a beautiful and a, a practical item of clothing or art or whatever you're trying to do. <laughs> My observations of the West out here are, we're not in the days of the open wild west where, you know, the cowboys are roaming the plains and everything, but there is that sense of that still here. And you do see that people here are just really hardy and earthy people and, and that the people who've come before them have been through a lot. They just have a magnificent sort of spirit about them out here. And it's just interesting to see what people have made of all these different influences of people like moving in and out of this area and all the different cultures that have come and, and had their little, had their influence in here and, and how that's morphed into the modern West today. I've had these incredible opportunities to work under Lisa Sorrell, Ray Dorwood, or Byron Berline, any of these people who have huge accolades. And to, to honor what they've done, I just want to take on the knowledge from them as much as I can and be a link in the chain to keep that going. These tunes or these, uh, these techniques that we're using are very archaic, and there's a, there's a value in keeping that present and alive, you know? And if I can do a good job 
learning it and taking it on and passing it on, then that'll be enough of a legacy for me. My name is Flora Knight, and this is my West. <laughs>